Hello friends, in this video I am going to take this topic uh, that which fuel is used in uh, various organs in various states in body that is I will be taking for fed state, fasting state, starvation state and this one uh, table I am making, I am going to make you learn this table during this video. So let's see how we learn this thing. First column, first column fed state, then fasting state, starvation state. This is substrate utilized for energy production for various organs in various states in the body. The basic I told you in previous video that carbohydrate is the main fuel, not the only fuel, main fuel in fed state, but fats is the main fuel in fasting state and in starvation body will start using amino acids and proteins. So let's start from fed state. In fed state the main fuel is glucose that is carbohydrate. So glucose is used by brain, liver, muscle, adipose tissue, RBC. So most of the body organs are using glucose but heart uses fatty acid even in fed state. This you have to learn, heart uses fatty acid even in fed state. But fetal heart, fetal heart will be using glucose and if heart failure occurs, then also fuel is shifted to glucose, right? So if a 5 day old baby, what is the fuel for heart? Fatty acid. Because fetus, uh, in fetus it is glucose, as soon as birth occurs, the fuel is shifted to fatty acid, right? Now see fasting state. In fasting state, the main fuel is fats. So all the body organs are using fatty acids. That is heart, liver, muscle, adipose tissue, they are using fatty acid, but not brain. Brain is still on glucose because fatty acids cannot cross blood-brain barrier, right? And RBC is on glucose because fatty acids cannot be broken down in RBC because beta oxidation of fatty acid occurs in mitochondria. It is a catabolic pathway, occurs in mitochondria, but RBCs don't have mitochondria, right? So now let's see starvation situation. In starvation, I told you it is amino acids should be used here. But amino acids is only written at one place that is liver. So only liver organ is following this basic sequence of carbohydrates then fats and then proteins in a sequence, right? But I told you already that vital organs are using ketone bodies this is for the vitality of the body so that ketone body fuel is always available for vital organs, heart and brain so that heart and brain can survive this difficult situation of starvation and because heart and brain if they are uh, living, if they are able to handle the starvation situation then body will be living, right? Glucose is not given as a fuel for heart and brain at this point of time because if glucose is the main fuel for them then it may happen that other body organs will use glucose because glucose can be used by all the organs of the body. So it may happen that other body organs will use glucose and glucose is not available for heart and brain. And if heart and brain die, then body will die, right? So at this point, ketone body fuel is given because ketone body cannot be used by any other organ, right? Then for muscles, I have written fatty acids because uh, till the time fatty acids are available, muscle will try using fatty acid. Uh, muscle will try to delay the use of proteins in them because there are very important proteins present in muscle. When muscles start using their important proteins, that situation is near death, right? And for muscles, I have also written ketone body. Uh, this, this thing that muscle can use ketone body or not, this thing was earlier a controversy. But now this thing is clear in your standard books that muscles can use ketone body, right? So I summarize that ketone body can be used by three organs, heart, brain and muscles, right? Okay. The next is adipose tissue. Adipose tissue will be using fatty acids. They have fats. They will be using fatty acids. And I have written ketone body, but I am cutting this ketone body for adipose tissue. I am cutting it in front of you because I want to tell you this thing that some books write this thing that adipose tissue will be using ketone body, but no, this thing is wrong. Adipose tissue will not be using ketone body, right? And the last one, RBCs on glucose. RBCs is always on glucose. Note here, RBC is always on glucose. RBCs cannot use any other fuel. They can only use glucose because there is no mitochondria in RBCs, right? And note one point that brain is using glucose in fed and fasting situation. If starvation, then it will shift to ketone bodies. Heart is using fatty acid in fed and fasting state. If it is very severe situation, then it will shift to ketone bodies, right? So tell me why glucose is decided as the main fuel for brain in fed state, why fatty acid is decided as main fuel in fed state for heart because during these 24 hours in a day, 
we are giving rest to brain right we are giving rest to brain we sleep right but we are not giving any rest to heart heart is working 24 hours so a fuel which is giving more energy per molecule that is fats that is decided as the main fuel for heart now one more question here that if heart is using fatty acids uh, most of the time then why is glut4 glut4 glucose transporter number 4 is present in cardiac muscle i have told you this thing in gluts that glut4 is present in cardiac muscle skeletal muscle and adipose tissue so why is glut4 present cardiac present in cardiac muscle if your heart is not using glucose see the reason is that uh, during the fetus time this glut4 was there right because fetal heart uses glucose and if heart failure occurs right in a, in adult if heart failure occurs then again heart has to use glucose so glucose transporter some glucose transporter has to be present in heart right this is it for this video thanks for watching